Is it possible we, where we could see a settlement where she foregoes the appeal in return for Mr. Depp uh, waiving any monetary damages? One thing that Amber Heard has tried to make clear after the Johnny Depp defamation case is that she's broke. So where do her lawyers stand in the financial crisis, especially in case she goes through with her appeal? Did she reveal the real reason why she won't be paying her lawyers? During the verdict, Amber was awarded $2 million from the jury over a statement Johnny Depp's former attorney made. But that amount was completely swallowed up by the $15 million he was awarded. That number was reduced to $10.35 million, based on caps on certain kinds of damages, which brought her total bill to $8.35 million. So the verdict prompted her lawyer, Elaine Bredehoft, to very publicly say that Amber can't afford to pay and an appeal would be forthcoming. Elaine also said that Johnny Depp's legal team demonized Amber and suppressed the evidence that had helped the son win their case against Johnny Depp. In that instance, the judge ruled that the son's claims were substantially true. And according to Elaine, an enormous amount of evidence that was used in the British case was suppressed in the Virginia trial. And after Elaine said that Amber couldn't afford to pay Johnny, fans started speculating that the same applied to her legal fees. One follower even implied that Elaine was doing the interviews for the cash, noting, Elaine trying to grab anything from anywhere at this point, because her client Amber Heard cannot pay her, and her reputation as a lawyer is out the window. Other people also pointed out that Amber spent the remaining bit of her money on lavish things, expensive wine, a new house, private jets, and so forth. And she apparently got so broke that she even had to shop at TJ Maxx. Well, apparently, Amber had to switch legal counsel and started relying on her homeowner's insurance coverage to cover the expense of her attorneys. According to insiders, the Travelers companies paid the majority of her attorney's costs under the provisions of Amber's insurance policy, so she didn't have to directly pay her lawyers. Insiders also reveal that the insurance only covers the fees up to a certain extent, so if Amber continues to pursue the case, she will definitely not be able to pay her legal fees. Speaking of Amber not being able to afford legal fees, has anyone heard from her other lawyer, Ben Rottenborn? Followers said that the fact that Amber's other lawyer, Ben Rottenborn, remained quiet and didn't make an appearance anywhere in relation to the case meant that Amber cannot afford to pay him anymore. Like one person asked, just curious, has anyone heard from Ben Rottenborn? Elaine should have done what he did, stay quiet and move on. But no, she went on with gaslighting the public and spewing gibberish, not taking any responsibility that her and the other lawyers failed. Other people just said that Ben made the right decision to disappear, with another person noting, Ben Rottenborn has been a very good civil litigation attorney for years, but sadly for him, taking AH's case on has most likely in the eyes of Benny tarnished all the good he has done in previous years. I do wish him well. As for Elaine Bredhoft, there is no hope. Well, even if Amber can't afford to pay her lawyers, especially for the appeal, she may be in luck because according to reports, Johnny was not planning to collect anyway. On Good Morning America, Ben Shu was asked if Johnny would say yes to a settlement, where Amber agrees not to appeal the case in exchange for him waiving monetary damages. And Ben hinted that that might happen. He said, Well, George, we obviously can't disclose attorney-client communications, but as Mr. Depp testified, and as we both made clear in our respective closings, this was never about money for, for Mr. Depp. So this was about restoring his reputation, and he's done that. Johnny himself said that it was never about the money when he wrote in his statement after the verdict. From the very beginning, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth regardless of the outcome. Speaking the truth was something that I owed to my children and to all those who have remained steadfast in their support of me. I feel at peace knowing I have finally accomplished that. Basically, the reason why Amber may not afford to pay her lawyers going forward is that she simply doesn't have the money to do so. But she could also be lying about not being able to pay her lawyers. For more details on where we are coming from, Check out this jaw-dropping revelation.